This is a tiny micro-robot fighting its way against blood flowing in an artificial vein. The scientists who designed these bots imagined them cruising the bloodstream, carrying cancer-killing drugs to treat difficult-to-reach tumors deep inside the body. This approach to drug delivery would minimize the exposure of normal healthy cells to toxic chemotherapy drugs, thus avoiding side effects. So says Metzen City, who helped create the bots. Our goal of using microbotic approach is to localize the cancer drugs to only tumor regions so that there is no side effect. The team calls these bots micro-rollers because they navigate blood vessels by rolling along their walls. By sticking to the walls where blood flow is slower, with the help of a magnetic field, the micro-rollers can roll against the bloodstream, which has been a challenge for bots of this size. The micro-rollers have two faces, each with a specific job. One side is needed for navigation, and it's made of magnetic gold and nickel layers. This face allows researchers to control the microbot's movements by flipping on a weak external magnetic field. By changing the direction of the magnetic field, the team can change the direction of the bot's movements with speeds up to 600 micrometers per second. The researchers could even steer the bots through junctions, like those the microrollers would encounter in an actual circulatory system. The other face of the bots is critical for attacking tumors. This face is equipped with antibodies and cancer drug molecules. The antibodies bind to proteins found specifically on breast cancer cells. This allows the bots to stick to the tumor cells while passing by healthy skin cells, shown at the bottom of the screen. Once the bots reach a tumor, researchers could zap them with UV light to trigger a chemical reaction that releases the cancer drug payload. But prolonged UV exposure can damage healthy cells, so City says his team is working on other ways to release the drug, such as using a change in temperature. 